Willie D. Live. People think winning is brick and mortar. The winning is the piece and the template. Because, again, we just talked about Whitney, Michael, and Prince right now could put their voices together and create anything. They don't even have to touch their money because we're at a place in evolution now where the sound of those three voices, like Amos 3 and 3 says, if they would walk together and agree, do you know what would happen? That means they could make Beyonce, Rihanna, all the biggest young people do the same thing. Let's find solidarity. Not to be racist against other people, but to really find a real reality and a real... What would we be in a real fair playing field? Unstoppable. Zamunda. Not Zamunda. <laughs> That was funny, Chris. <laughs> Not Zamunda. Uh, the, the movie with the great brother who just passed with Angela Bassett. Um, Wakanda. How could I say yeah. Zamunda? I was thinking about Eddie. You had me thinking about Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And Daryl yeah, with the Jerry yeah, Curl. Yeah, 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 Big yeah, shout yeah. to my boy Eric LaSalle who played Daryl with the Jerry Curl. Yeah. How, how often do people try to uh, check, like really test you because of your, the role that you played in New Jack City? How often do they try you know, to try funny, to test never. you about it? Because from men's like from men's men or people, I think when people come around me, they might want to say something slick or disrespect or whatever. But then they're like, "Oh nah, he's cool. Yeah. Like he's regular. He didn't right. come in with the pretense. He didn't. You know, sometimes guys will be like, "You on that light skin?" They'll be like, "Actually, I've I've heard from people that I'm the most dark skinned light skinned dude they ever met, and that has said been said over and over again. So." You know, we've all been tested. I don't get along, obviously, with everybody. But fortunately for me, I'm so, like, aloof or I come straight at a person. I respect everybody that normally for me in my life as somebody who takes a disliking to me for a reason that has nothing really to do with me. And I used to take those things on, but I just don't. So, you know, like in the sense of whether it's, you know, and again, like, you know, people don't realize I've said these things in rebuttal after years. I never rebuttal right away because I'm sitting there just as mystified or disinterested as a person who has a real life. Because I'm disinterested. I don't care what actually goes on on the Internet at all. Isn't it funny when they lying on you and you know the truth? Or are they just telling a lie and you just know the truth? You sitting up like, oh, you don't even know me. Listen, for years... Mouth. Me and Al B. Shaw laughed about this. I said for years, how don't people know that's Al B. Shaw and you can call me crazy? And from fear, Teddy and Gene will sit there and be like, no, that's Timmy Gatlin. And because Gene went up there and fear-mongered everybody, they stuck with that story for 30 years. But now we're at a time where they feel comfortable to go on the live and be like, okay, now Al and Teddy can come together and be like, no. Teddy's like, no, that was actually Al B. Shaw. But we exalt that, that type of behavior. And it's nothing, again, I've, I've said, I can say stuff that I've done. I just admitted I was wrong. I took the $50,000 and sang that terrible song, talked to myself. I admitted three things where I said, listen, I shouldn't have done that. But people don't do that anymore. People get famous and think they're perfect. Or people get fortune and think they have ultimate favor. Mm. What did the dude Steve Jobs just say when he was dying? If I'd have known what time was, our most precious commodity in this life is time. Because you can hit Lotto tomorrow for a trillion dollars and you can't buy a second. Like they say, buy a vow. You can't buy a second. You can't buy a second. And these false paradigms they keep putting in front of us, they're not even our culture. Because again, when you look at our culture from the beginning, and this goes in any, like, you know, the church says Jesus is the creator. But there was no J. So I know he's the creator. He is my Messiah. He's Lord over my life. But I know for a fact his name ain't Jesus. You know why? You know why it doesn't, it, it doesn't, start, it doesn't start with a J? It starts with a G. No, fuck me. I don't know, man. <laughs> you mean like G-Z? 